Hearthstone is a great game, but there is a lot of inconsistencies between cards that cause the player to get a little confused, including me who has played this game all the way since closed beta. These Hearthstone inconsistencies don't only mean cards, they're actually all over the client and you don't even realize it. I just want to mention at the start of this video, this video is just for fun. I realize that this is extremely nitpicky, but you don't need to let me know in a comment down below that I am being nitpicky. Also, if you're going to go write a comment about me being nitpicky, go sub. A lot of you aren't, and I would appreciate the subscription. For instance, in the collection manager, all of the classes are represented in alphabetical order. And when you tap new deck, they are as well. But when you go to practice mode, they aren't in order at all. They're just in a seemingly random order with Demon Hunter just placed at the bottom. In the battlegrounds hero menu, all of the heroes are just randomly placed into this book unless you hit show all. And then for some reason, they go into alphabetical order. I have no idea why. The keyword echo was introduced in the Witchwood expansion, but after the Witchwood, they did not really use the term Echo anymore rather than just repeatable this turn, even though they basically do the exact same thing. That was until they had to change Snip Snap from Wild, where now Echo can't go below one mana. This is also the same thing for the recruit mechanic for Cobalt and Catacombs. Recruit means just pull them out of your deck. We see this on Possessed Lackey. But then for Darkest Hour, which came out in Rise of Shadows, it says for each one, summon a random minion from your deck. And according to my calculations at my Harvard degree, that's the same thing as Recruit Blizzard. There is an inconsistent discount interaction with cards like Skulking Geist versus specific draw cards like Juicy Psych Melon. Skulking Geist will destroy all cards that originally cost one mana, even if they get discounted to zero, where Juicy Psych Melon will not draw discounted minions. There seems to be a random order for keywords on Hearthstone minions. For example, Anoyatron has Taunt, then Divine Shield, where Anoya Module has Magnetic, Divine Shield, and Taunt. There doesn't seem to be a consistent way to do keywords across multiple Hearthstone cards. I think Alphabetical might be the best way of doing it, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Let me know with a comment down below. I also just realized that on their website, it doesn't even go in the same order. This one is Magnetic Divine Shield Taunt, where on the website, it's Divine Shield Magnetic and Taunt. Pick one, Blizzard! Molten Giant also is extremely interesting that it says cost one less for each damage your hero has taken. But if you go down to five life and then you get healed all the way back up to 30, the card's not going to be free. It will be 20 mana, which means the text on this card should change to cost one less for each point of health your hero is missing. Savage Savagery and Savage Striker do the exact same thing, but the wording is not the same. Savagery says deal damage equal to your hero's attack to a minion, where Savage Striker says deal damage to an enemy minion equal to your hero's attack. Pick one. Bone Dragon is considered a dragon, but Bone Mare isn't considered a beast. If you go to the Hearthstone card collection and you look at a quest, it will showcase what the final reward of this quest. So for Final Showdown, Demon Slayer Kurtris is here and we know exactly what it does. But this isn't the case for every single thing like this. If a card generates a certain type of minion, you actually can't see it in the card collection manager until you play it in game. Same thing goes with a weapon. This is even the same thing when crafting a card. See, the Marsh Queen from Angoro tells me that Queen Karnasa is the card that I will receive. But then if I go to Medivh the Guardian from One Night in Karazhan, I don't know what Atiesh is. I have to go look outside the game or play the card. Just a card, True Heart was the first time we ever saw upgrading your hero power and her car tech says replace your hero power with a better one but then they reintroduce this with baku and all it says is upgrade your hero power the schemes introduced in rise of shadow have the text upgrades each turn where compared to gruel and micro machine which came before it has at the end of each turn and at the start of each turn but both gruel and micro machine both upgrade each turn so why not just say exactly what it does with all the schemes which upgrades at the end of each turn when you discover something in Hearthstone, you pick between three cards that are presented to you. And that's exactly what the Discover mechanic reads. Choose one of the three cards to add to your hand. But Archivist Deliciana reads, discover five cards, replace your deck with two copies of each. But the Discover mechanic reads, choose one of the three cards to add to your hand. It doesn't make any sense. Achievement is something they added recently into Hearthstone. But the weird thing is, is that none of the achievements are actually in alphabetical order. As you can see, Tavern Regular is above a simple request. But on top of that, all of the actual class specific achievements are organized by classes. When choosing a skin for Tavern Regular, you would think that they would be in alphabetical order, but they're not because after Hunter should be Mage, 
and warrior should be last the card head crack reads deal two damage to the enemy hero combo return this to your hand next turn but if you end up playing it it returns to your hand at the end of this turn Huh? The card sense demons reads draw two demons from your deck for three mana. But if you don't have any demons, the card does this. It puts two worthless imps in your hand, but the shaman card ice fishing, which is draw two murlocs from your deck, doesn't give you anything in your hand. It just does nothing. Both Weaponized Pinata and the Frozen Champion from Sindragosa both do the exact same thing, but their text is misaligned and it's extremely frustrating to look at. Both Hellfire and Fellfire Potion do the same thing, but all is spelled in all caps for Hellfire and it's not in Fellfire Potion. The card Shadow Madness and Potion of Madness both say gain control of an enemy minion, and by just reading these cards, these seem extremely useless, but these minions that you gain control of actually get charge which means both of these cards are consistent in the fact that they don't tell the player everything they need to know just by reading the card the same thing could be said about wild growth when you're at 10 mana which gives you a card to draw another card giggly inventor was a card introduced in the boomsday project with the battle cry to summon two one two mechs with taunt and divine shield these minions are called anoyotrons from goblins versus gnomes when you play Giggly Inventor, the Anoyatron does not show the Goblins vs. Gnome emblem in the back of the card. It shows the Boomsday Project. Whereas a card like Bomb Wrangler, when it actually summons a Boombot, which is also introduced from Goblins vs. Gnomes, the Boombots show the Goblins vs. Gnome emblem in the back of the card text, where Bomb Wrangler shows Galarcon's Awakening, the adventure that Bomb Wrangler came out in. Doom Guard and Dark Bargain both discard two random cards, but on Dark Bargain, it is the number two where on doom guard it is the word to there are three different cleave effects in front of you one being cave hydra then being faux reaper and magnetor alpha but all of these cards refer to themselves in different ways faux reaper says it cave hydra says this and magnetor alpha says he i wonder why Lesser Sapphire Spellstone is the only Shaman card that has the word Overload without a colon after it. Every other card that has the word Overload on it goes Overload colon in the amount of mana it will Overload. Both Youthful Brewmaster and Gadgeton Ferryman both do the same thing, returning a friendly minion from the battlefield into your hand. But Youthful Brewmaster says what I just said, and Gadgeton Ferryman only says return a friendly minion to your hand. When we look at Ogre cards like Ogre Brew to Ogre Warmall and Optimistic Ogre. Ogre Brew and Optimistic Ogre both have the same inline text format, but Ogre Warmall just has to take it a different way. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. I hope you ended up enjoying this video. There is a lot more inconsistencies that I did not mention in this video. So if you have any more, leave a comment down below. You look fantastic.